week I'll come back. So it was a Saturday edition in Shop Pass, but usually, I think the Saturdays here, we try and do the pre match analysis of the various games and because of throughout in Europe, of course, by and right games are passed, so we need to start from there. Preach. For about two weeks now, we say, when we say pictures do tell a thousand words out, may the killing the Tony Mbappe picture did buy, and I need my eight feet and when a cheap buy. Now, this picture of Jude Belly, I made one of those examples of pictures that do tell a thousand words. An action that is picturesque. I saw Jude Bellingham action. Jude Bellingham about three games for Spanish La Liga. I said the Madrid iconic number five years. Was said four goals. In two of side games, Madrid needed a savior. And a young English man, Jude Bellingham, and a rising tallest to the party to save the blushes of FC Real Madrid. It is the quality and what you get from Jude Bellingham and the Jumoye. That's what makes it as good as it is now. And, and now again, our Vigo, against Celta de Vigo, Abante Fendi Jude Bellingham rose tall and headed Madrid into a win. The quality in India, I think it's OBM. How Madrid plays OBM in the 4 1 2 1 2 that they be a camera seminar. Now everybody understands how Madrid gets to play. Right now, we see in Europe. No team has the mo much more athletic midfield than Madrid midfield. So I made for four of Chimani, Kamavinga, Valverde, and Jude Bellingham. Too athletic. Three midfielders are so for the defensive side of the job, but they can give you constantly. And also, an impact of Jude Bellingham with me adding goals to his game. He's not even a second striker. Essentially, he's just supposed to create. But they're not for goals. And the message, man, it's in the AAE. But even right apart from that, which sometimes talent alone is not enough. Mm -hmm. And I think that is where it makes me feel that Jude Bellingham will succeed in a game of football. He is so charismatic as a young boy. Him, there are people who have more talent, but at a big stage, then they crumple. They fail to stand up to the tax, to the pressure. Jude Bellingham is not one of those. What about Madrid? It is the dream of every young player to play in Madrid. Obama Madrid, though, no? probably the iconic number five Jesse of Zinedine Zidane, Ewa Madrid. Quite apart from that, he is coming into a Madrid team. Our only coach, Carlo Ancelotti, said he is going to be, he is going to make sure say, Omo fit the Benzema goes and Omo Nyan. Because we believe that the arrival of Bellingham covers the absence of Karim. Big pressure for the young Englishman. And truth be told, since he has been at Madrid, his arrival have made Madrid restless, not necessarily miss Karim Mustafa Benzema. Because uh, if an attacker can give you four goals, not even an attacker, made for essentially in three games, uh, two Benham is there. And I think that for me, apart from the technical side, apart from the football, the tactics and what have you, the story essentially is about the charismatic nature of Jude Bellingham. And the celebration here, description of it. Speak volume. Yes, away at Vigo. Young boy, Jude Bellingham is not 20. Yeah. Team, you know, no big characters, boom. There is a Ballon d'Or winner in, in Luka Modric in the FIFA best player in there. There is a World Cup winner in Tony Cruz. World Cup finalist, eh, boom. There is even Orien Chimene who went further than him in the World Cup. Big players, big characters, Alaba, Rudiga, Tivo Kotua was the goalkeeper on his recent injury. Or she go now, say, forget everybody, could you not sell that phone and you will be in the same. Telling everybody that the new kid on the block, the new king is here in Vigo, and you better accept me first one. No, not be about for no to two. I am Pianian. He did not care. But you be at Almeria again and now at Vigo. The celebration has gone on. He was doing it in front of the yellow wall in Dortmund, El Germany. But now it has arrived in Spain, and then he rose tall to get a job done. How come I'm doing my dear? I'm sure now one age, yeah. Two scanner near the tunnel. Yeah. Three team now come on Real Madrid. Yeah. He's an English boy. Yeah. And I English you know, me to be honest with you, so I'm 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 free England. Yeah. I quite want here. Especially come on Real Madrid. Now we have to see me Yeah. I, I remember saying we had that conversation. I'm saying no Kaka. Yeah. Oh yeah. That conversation. Most of the times, no English players they come out and shut down. So I'm sure Kaka. 
but Jubani am call Real Madrid. So Obama, no pressure. Uh, yes. And now what the game? We made Chelsea game we are now, and I'm quite sure. Super, super, super player. You see, it, it is down to the charisma, the personality. You know? Or walking through the dressing room. And yesterday, Madrid before posted video be of how he was speaking Spanish. You know, but just a few weeks he has learned the Spanish very well. Obama Central Compass Ceremony at the day. Oh, Spain one. And it is the charismatic nature. So we should go no say now, great. This is a picture of it. Yeah, the anchor said, Joseph, Joseph, you never prepared. How do you see? Was it down or something? Yes. Reaction. Reaction. Just when the ball came, he was the first to react to the ball. And Joseph, the reaction was late. You can't. We're leaping right into the ball and bam. The goal comes in, and then Jubilee gives Madrid the needed win. She will be originally to be a hard year watcher. Nacho Fernandez and him. Look at Kawayal and him. And then the action of Jude. A bright FN Joseph, he has arrived. He is the new kid for Madrid on the block. And you better accept him say he's the new guy. On Unti and a real Madrid, they change your formation on the regular 4 3 -D. Now, Madrid are doing something very, very smart. Omun him say the old guys now are hugely technical and cognitive, better than Chumeni when it comes to the technical ability. When it comes to athleticism, any the physicality, when the aggressive and the combative nature of the gamer, the boys are way miles ahead of Cruz Mueni Modric. So we start with the boys to be much more athletic. Let's be physical. Yen yen compact with fifth one. But once the game wears on a yen goes no, we bring the technical ability of Cruz and Modric to come and manage the game and then pick those holes. No? And that's exactly what Carlo Ancelotti is giving. Experience and technical superiority for Carlo Ancelotti with a mix of players, no kitano. That's why Madrid are getting the success early on in the season. Three matches, three wins on top. <laughs> That's a good feel, boy. You want the game. You know me, you know you want the game. And we'll be over here, game, you'll be a... And I just say, we do it now, no, no. Then go here. The penalty is great. Rodrigo goes there. Then go here. But this was in April, Rich. I've been shot to April. So, okay. Benzema, you know, you're very happy to say, married, and she's a woman, you're a baby. One of the biggest questions I was asking, is said, how am I going to get them for the, the goals of, the, of, of Benzema? And Charlotte said, or the Jubilee on your baby. Early days, Benzema has said four out of three. But the Vinicius Jr. in your place said, Kim, it is a worry to Madrid. It's a worry. I don't see a muscle injury, hamstring. I don't know how long it will go on for. Well, Matt, Jose Rune, he didn't play well for Madrid essentially yesterday. When he came into the free to come and play as a top, on it, Rodrigo combination wasn't the best ever anymore. So I don't know how Madrid are going to get that job done. But essentially, going forward, one of the things Madrid would want to prevent is hey, more injuries. Meneta was injured. Thibaut Courtois is injured. Now, Venezuela Junior is injured. They will be lucky say their injuries will come early, then they can move past it. But yes, idea, it is not going to be a good season if Madrid keep on having a lot of injuries hey, well, this season. Spanish La Liga, but it sets the conversation up. Now I think Gabi is wrestling. I think it's a rich. We will be allowed Chelsea in India. Our person was sorry. Including you. Oh yes, including yes, which you see. The game was a relief. Including good fellow. Including Obia. Including me and Kasaminia. Bonsu. Wow, wow, we are club bonsu. I know what say. Say Obia. Every Chelsea fan. The best me go to India and Major. Every Chelsea fan. Ram more Steven more Dark more everybody who's a Chelsea fan Felix yeah and my game we a important is a rich senior kind it is just looting town in this way it's not say looting tower project man I was a way it will feel again the last time I chose to win a game English Premier League game was against Leeds United 165 days ago in nine out of ten games, Chelsea winning game be out here before this game. Inti se unse ukwa kubo. Na se unti mi se looting tower. Then nobody will care about the progress. Se also your projecta. Then there is a need for some form of progress, some form of steps and a signs to show say really you are in, in the ascendancy with respect to your project. And that is where a lot of Chelsea fans at the beginning wanted to see say Chelsea will win this game and then get a job done. Yesterday, I think so when we had a technical issue, one of the things I wanted to address, no? and he said a lot of the Chelsea fans were saying, he said, Pochettino in preseason, 
Nobody normal 4 2 3 1. No. But all of a sudden, starting in the game against Liverpool, Pochettino changed from a 4 2 3 1 to go and play in a 3 back with Axel de Sassi, Levi Kowal, and Thiago Silva. Then you have Benjamin Chiro, and in this case, uh, Abadia, your friend Marlo Gusto, as the wing backs. Now, you see, what says that it's not necessarily a three back or a four back? And I'll show you some representations that allude to Sassana Port Aircraft. Sometimes on the ball, Chelsea want to have a lot more players on the ball. It's also a Chelsea. It was simply 4 2 in terms of ball progression. DB has a Chelsea progressive ball there for you. The three center backs will be there. But you are going to have Moises Kaisedo and, of course, Conor Gallagher in the first line of progression to have a 3v2 phase of ball progression. Now, right ahead of them, you have Enzo Fernandez to make sure, say, one of the biggest problems of Chelsea going into this game is that Chelsea do not have a central threat because in Kuku Ebra, Kani Tuku Ebra, they are the central threat of the Chelsea team. And if they are not there, then it was worrying for the club. Then out wide, you have Abrantia Fred Raheem Sterling. Then Benjamin Chua played like a mid winger. Right in front of them was Nicholas Jackson. I think, say, with the blast of the whistle, all the principles that you wanted to see from Chelsea, playing out from the back, 70% of ball possession, pressing and counter-pressing, pushing up, the three centre-backs will make the pitch very constricted. Then it will change to a 3-1-6. Oh, any more of them. You had that every time against Luton Town. Me, one of the things I was looking at Spa was Axel de Sassi versus Adebayo. Oh, Axel de Sassi first match. The battle between Luis Ononi Luis Diaz Olusui against Mikel Antonio West Ham. He lost that battle as well. But in this one against Adebayo, I think he held his own fine. And he shows the Sassi's progress in the game. Levi Kowal, brilliant in progression and even the defensive actions. Same for Thiago Silva. Then Kanu wants to. Enzo Fernandez, um, Moises Kai said, eh? I'm glad yesterday they tried to speak to him. In the first bare 10 minutes, Sosia, he was trying to overdo. And of course, he told the entire turn, my former player, F.A. Bond, there was a counter attack against Chelsea. He should not let that get into his head, though. For me, you know, Bond. Position you know, it is known for simplicity. Right after that action, you know, making some mistake now, Pochettino called him and spoke to him. You, know. you could tell since then he was doing the simple things, and that is how everything went on better. For Enzo Fernandez, everybody knows it was a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant game again. Me bana Andy Kachin Zevi. Benfica for the from the MP35 means I'm coming. Enzo. Because oh, man, yeah. the boy is good. I'm <laughs> As you know, you are from here. And then it's my as no, no. Okay, as a walk. Enzo. Yes, shit, you know, what? I'm to be. And I'm, 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 top, top, top teams, you know. Top team on this guy. I had a bay. Top team on this guy. Then you have to be a player. Which I think is a Rahim Oh, yeah, 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 quality player. And of course, Raheem Sterling should deserve a lot of the products in that regard. Good game of football. This ship was very important. As Oshie Malo Gusta, he wasn't always deep and starting as a, as a wing back. He was starting as a full back close to the back line in case they just needed to progress from Salah line. You know? And it was a good game in that regard. Everything they show, shot on target, just about 19 shots, 8 on target, 11 shots for Luton, just 1 on target, 5 big chances for Chelsea. Exits that are non penalty exits now. Chelsea at 3.16, Lutz Ring at 0 0.4. Total dominance from Chelsea Football Club. But in the stance which Museum Seva Beshe Bonibi, John Terry Beshevi, and of course Romeo Lavia was there. Also, Chelsea new goalkeeper in Georgi Petrovic. Yesterday he was also there. And after the game, Omo called blessing room not to go and see the players. And it was an exciting game of football. He gave them credit. Romelu Lukaku is being serious. The service to Orlando, which I then remember a young man. You see, I want to let all of these things settle. Eh? Sometimes, when you're analyzing these things from just what you hear in the media, and what you read from your colleagues, media people close to them, eh? you may be a little bit biased with hindsight. So, Minaya, fast forward. Lukaku will come and speak after saying the transfer will be resolved. He will say the part of his story. 
then we all can try and make sense of the whole situation. Because, which it does not make sense, excuse me. Say Obama International Milan. You played in the Champions League final. BBI essentially is essential in International Milan. You come back to Chelsea. Chelsea said, we want you to be sold outrightly to a club. Inter Milan said, fine. We wanted a loan deal. But we do not have the money to buy it outright. But you see a person at Tom Andrew Nana Manchester United. Once he goes, we can get money and buy Lukaku off Chelsea. They had agreed a fee of 42 million. Just right about that, Lukaku goes to discuss with Juventus. And who your problem? No? The discussions he had with Juventus is normal. Players agree with teams and have conversations in secret to other clubs. It is done. You want to safeguard your interest. But to the extent that Bepe Marata Mo Efro, sporting director of Inter Milan Efro, now on far. Wow, teammates Lataro Martinez Mo keep on calling you and you don't pick up. That is where the trust was broken between Lukaku and International Milan, and then they pulled away from him. Now, Juve have not been able to sell Vlaovic. We said it from the beginning. So, until so, so Juve beats Maton Vlaovic, you know, Lukaku is going nowhere. He can't be a Juventus player. Montenegro, Paris Saint Germain, so. Viable options are Saudi Arabia and none of them. You see, AS Roma and Jose Mourinho have sent an entourage. They came to the Chelsea game. On the so we a dry loan deal with Mel Lukaku from Chelsea. On the Bambu loan. Uh, on but the good side for Chelsea, they say, whoever Lukaku will go to, to play as a loan will pay for the wages of Romelu Lukaku. Chelsea wants to get that money off their books. It's once you take him, you agree with the wages, pay a very good loan fee to Chelsea, and then you take him away. And that is it with Romelu Lukaku. And then he says, oh, hold on. I, I want finality to the Amaka. Now, Rich, quick, quick, you're analyzing a lot of the game. Let's start with the talents that they have. Some big games are coming up. Milan, Airbus, Torino, Napoli, Airbus game. Later in the week, there is international Milan. It is gaining the fast, fast Emma Panthers from Francien, Elbow Atlanta in the match with two. Mons, I bet, Nefiache, Empoli, Milan, Torino, like I mentioned, at the San Siro. Milan looks like the new poster team for the Italian Serie A. And if you look at the team of Mutita, it's a brilliant game that they have. Going back to the San Siro, my last game of my boy, it was Mike Mignon, Davide Calabria, Malik Tiao, Fikayo Tomori. And it's you, Hernandez. And of course, in the middle, Ruben lifts his cheek from Chelsea, Radi Krunic, and it's Gianni Vignades. Then Christian Pulisic, Olivier Giroud, and it's Rafael Liao. Sport for choice. Even in attack, they can make sure they bring in Sami Chukweze in the middle of the in, in, from white okay, areas. I'm sir, where you know? Yeah. In central areas. He wants there to be a striker, then he runs off him. And that's all Kylian Luton in Bambi Pesso all year. And that is why he's getting the successes in that regard. Once Paris Saint Germain able to feel the team that is balanced. I'm confident in them. There is a very good on and off the ball midfielder in Manuel Ugat. You remember how Chelsea spent hours and days on the getting the deal of Manuel Ugat down ahead Nyankoyi. Excellent player by all standards, on and off the ball. You have close to him an excellent number eight in Fabi Vitinha also there. Then up top the width of Usman Dembele from the left hand side, and of course, I bet you friend Kylian Luton in Bappe to get the job done. Now look at the new face. Is my well, um, Paris Saint Germain center back room, Marquinhos and Milan Skriniar. Skriniar was part of the all concrete international Milan team, very robust, very aggressive. Also, a very good ball playing center back with Marquinhos, young captain of the Paris Saint Germain team, knows exactly what he's doing. Now, they have a much more defensive minded um, full back in Lucas Hernandez, not as attacking as Ashraf Hakimi. If Ashraf Hakimi is pushy up, he stays to make it a back three to be able to defend against counter attacks. And that's how good the Paris Saint Germain team is in a game against RC Law. A very good team. Yeah, yes, Salus Abdul Samed is in the team, but they've lost a very good team. His partner in Susoko, oh, of course, Saudi Arabia, they were very, very good together. Now, he has a new partner in Andy Dioff. This partnership is new. We don't know how good it's going to be. I'm expecting to say, team, uh, your friend of uh, Paris Saint Germain will get a job done.